and took my tyres off last night. My brother's going to take them in on Thursday. Well, not my tyres off, took my wheels off last night. <laughs> Got a message from my brother's mate who has the spool adapter at his place. He messaged us, well, would have been halfway through while we were taking the wheels off, saying that he found them. But we only saw it until after we had completed it. Basically what we did is we've just used the flat mount and it's kind of a little bit dodgy, but well, actually it's pretty dodgy, but hopefully it does the job. Um, yeah, we've got the flat mounts uh, and the back of the axle swing arm, back of the swing arm sitting on them. And we have the front of the bike lifted up uh, onto the rafters of a, our garage. And that's what's keeping it up. And then we just put a few straps over the rafters uh, for support in case the back does slip. So it should be all right. I mean, I've lifted this bike, the 250, up like that before, which I was more than comfortable doing because it weighs one fifteenth of fuck all. Whereas I was a little bit more nervous doing it with the R6 because it's a bit heavier. Would hate for the rafters or something to come down. And uh, yeah, basically fuck the bike completely. I'm gonna swing past my mate's place tonight anyway and pick up the adapters just so I can either put them on with the bike as it is or just have them for later. As well as I need to find out whether I can borrow his tire warmers for the track day. Because my brother's got his set but he's gonna be using them obviously. So I need to see if I can use it, my, his mate's set. So I've also been looking at different types of exhaust pipes to get from the R6 so that it's a bit more legal as well as I'll be able to then use it at other tracks like Lakeside and QR if if and when I plan to get out to them. But geez, the majority of pipes that go on the R6 look like shit, at least in my opinion anyway. They all stick out the side in such a horrible looking angle it looks like somebody's just like jammed a goddamn box into the side of the bike none of them seem to have like a nice streamlined look to them which is what I which is what I prefer I've seen one which I mean like I do like the short exhaust but I just want it to follow the shape of the bike and not sit out sit out at such a odd angle one of the ones that I found that I like is it's a bit of like a growler exhaust. It has a, it looks basically like what I've got on the bike at the moment, the pipe that goes up the side, but instead of just being a bit of pipe with nothing on the end, it then goes to a um, box basically. And so that follows the, cause the pipe comes up and follows the shape of the bike. Um, what other ones do I like the look of? I mean, I really love the look of the Toast one. I think it's sexy as fuck. But the problem with it is it's basically going to be exactly the same or very similar to what I've got on at the moment. Basically just a straight through pipe. But it does look mean with the uh, two exhaust tips out the side. What other ones have I looked at? Like, there's a lot of bikes that the majority of exhausts fit on that actually look half decent but just for some reason the way that the pipes are shaped on mine it sticks out at such a odd angle and I don't know I just don't like the look of it some people might but yeah I'm not a fan I think I really just need to go and see a few of them in person a few more pipes on the bike in person to see what looks nice I mean I absolutely love the sound of mine when I'm up there and going. I don't know. I may even look into getting two pipes. I might sell mine. Get the toast one because it's sexy as fuck. And then get one that I can use for a track day as well.
I'd love if the toast one came with like a removable baffle or something. That would be awesome. That would be perfect actually. I've seen some people go and make their own like DIY baffles for them, but it's not really what I want to be doing. And the other problem with getting two exhausts or doing anything like this, having two pipes or two configurations that I sw switch between, is that I'll need basically two different tunes on the bike, which is another thing that I don't really want to be doing. I don't want to be having to chop and change between two different settings. I mean, if I could map it out, if my um, bike had an interactive like ECU setup, then I'd be more than happy to because then I could basically just press a couple buttons and it would be set up for one and press a couple buttons again and it's set up for the other. What I would love uh, that there's only like a handful of bikes nowadays that still make them is I'd prefer the Undertale exhaust to be honest. I reckon they look heaps better than the shorty ones outside, at least on some bikes anyway. The pipe that my older brother keeps telling me to get is the FMF uh, FMF what type pipe? Some FMF pipe. It's got a bit of like a hexagonal shape to it. And I mean, it's probably one of the better looking shorty pipes that are out there. The Growler one, in my opinion, looks the best to me. But I don't think I'd be getting it, I don't know. With the discussions with my brother last night, he was saying that, yeah, a lot of the cheap chinese pipes look like that now so people are steering away from them because they don't want their bike to look like it's got some shitty pipe on it. I don't know, I don't know. So I've noticed in the last couple days that the indicators on the left side of my bike have all got this brown sort of muck in them. I think it's just from water getting in around the plastic and I only checked this morning as to whether they're all working properly and found out that out of like 20 plus lights, in, LED lights in each, there's only like three that light up on the front or the back. So I'm gonna have to look into getting another set of them. I'm not sure, I, my assumption is that it's because of water getting in around the sides and basically wrecking them. And it's either that, or it's because I don't have an indicator relay that's set up for the LEDs, so they flash fast. I've got the relay sitting at home, but I just can't be fucked to put them on. I'm not sure which one's caused the problem, cause them to die on me. Because I mean, the right-hand side ones are all fine. They don't have any of the mucky-looking shit in them. I mean, they were just like two-dollar, cheap, shitty Chinesey indicators. So I finished work pretty much on time today. And something doesn't happen very often. Felt weird walking out of the office at 4.30. You know, sun's still up. The fuck is this shit? <laughs> the sun's still up on a night where I'm going into the city so I'm not gonna be able to do anything with the sun being up anyway. Yeah. You guys, <clears throat> just finished break for the night. Didn't realise just how much this place had uh, started construction or almost finished construction actually. Well, that's wrong. They're not almost finished construction, but at this level, they've done a lot more than what they had last time I came. Last time I came round, everything was still just a massive hole in the ground. Now they've actually got like scaffolding and shit up. Oh fuck, 10 o'clock already. Jesus. It's a late one. Not only is it late now, but I also gotta go past my brother's mate's place and pick up these different adapters for the stand, the rear stand that I'm using. And we're gonna find out from him whether he'll let me use his um, tire warmers when we go to the track day as well. And I said I'd be there in about 15 minutes, and that was about five or 10 minutes ago. Not sure how long it's going to take me to get there, but I think it's going to be more than that, more than five minutes. If I didn't have to worry about speed limits, and I just went absolutely flat stick, I might just, just be able to make it there in five minutes. 
but I would be hauling ass. And I'd have to go through red lights, like, that's no stopping. That's just from here on the R6, winding the shit out of her. I might just make it. Whereas now, CBR 250, traffic, traffic lights. Shit's fucked. City cat! Jeez, I didn't realize they ran this late. <coughs> Looks like there's almost nobody on it though. Oh, maybe I might stand corrected. Can't tell. Yeah, I think there might be two people at the front of it. So, break was pretty fun considering I hadn't been there for about a month. There's this crazy chick that now does class. And me and my mate being quite vocal and obnoxious. She does not get along with us very well whatsoever. What the hell is that car doing? Anyway, as I was saying, brake has been pretty interesting. The last couple times I've been there with this crazy chick. Ah, traffic lights! Yeah, she's basically been causing a bit of a nuisance for us. Like, we sort of do our own thing in the corner and can be a bit loud, but don't interrupt the class, whereas this chick is just ridiculous, like... She definitely has something wrong with her, not... All her screws aren't quite tight enough, there's definitely something missing. It's, um... Seems as though she might have, like, autism or something. Or maybe more than just autism. Basically, whenever we do anything, she just, like, throws up her hands in disgust and just goes off at us and has been like basically this lesson tonight she was going around to a lot of other people who were new and trying to teach them yet this chick's only been there for like a couple months and it's pretty shit to be honest and was just saying that everybody else is doing it wrong and it's like bitch just do your own thing would ya? I, it's okay to give somebody maybe a couple pointers if they're new, but you don't need to be going off at them. You're not the teacher. My one mate in particular, Alex, him and this chick really don't get along. And they got called out, well, in a battle tonight, which was quite amusing. Them just throwing shit at each other as well as what was funny is so we already knew that my mate was going to battle tonight because he hasn't battled for a while and my teacher's been going through getting everybody to battle but my teacher he showed us one like said he was teaching us one like set of a couple moves and stuff and then said just oh yeah do whatever you want after it and I basically came up well I did my own thing after and he was like oh yeah that's sick and then went and taught it to everybody else <laughs> and that's one thing like that you don't do in break is like copy someone's moves called biting biting their moves so I was basically joking around was just going off at him saying that he's biting my moves <laughs> even like he said that he was going to do it anyway but whether he was or wasn't and then so after one of the battles that happened my teacher comes into the circle and basically like calls me out and I had to battle against him, which I wasn't expecting, so I'd been doing class pretty pretty full on. And then went and had to battle him when I was fucked. And yeah, not having been there for like a month, I was kind of shit, to be honest. It was pretty shit. Oh well, all fun and games. Now, Matt's place is sort of just up here somewhere. I need to turn off. I think just off this bridge. I'm probably going to get lost, but we'll find out. I may take one wrong turn, I think. Maybe, maybe two, maybe a couple. Maybe I might get completely lost and I have to look up on my phone. I think it's this one, I think. Fuck it, we'll go this one anyway. It looks promising. I think this may be it, maybe. I think if there's a right hand turn just here. Yeah, fuck I'm good. This one here with a pulsar and a smash up crawler. And my brother's old car with a flying spaghetti monster on the back. So just got these adapters, checked out my mate's new Mobi and Aprilia SV something something 550. 
SVX, I want to say. Super motor, motor hard is what it is. 550 motor hard. Looks all right in the pictures, but it looks better in person. Was telling him about how awesome the track day is going to be because he's got an exam on and he's not going to be able to make it, so I was just making him feel like shit. Oh, fuck yeah. So I get to watch Dragon Ball Super when I get home. And Goku's just about to verse Vegeta in an all-out battle for to the death. This is going to be fucking mental. Oh, it's really cold now. And I'm not even close to home. This is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. I'm so keen for this track day. It's going to be so much fun. Ooh, 250. Yep, 250. <laughs> 250 with an obnoxious pipe on it. So I'm getting pretty close to home now. If you like this video and hearing me ramble on about random shit, then smack that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Anyway, see you back out. Peace.